Grolsch bottle. The newer version, which I don't like as much, the older style. Then, of course, they have an older style yet that has a true ceramic cap, I believe. They've gone to plastic on them. And I think this bottle is pretty boring looking compared to the older style. But much preferred over those for me is the Easy Cap bottle, which you can buy for approximately $2.85, 3 bucks in the homebrew supplies. They all work similarly with this swing cap spring loaded where you snap it down and it locks. So a couple things that can go wrong is that one, the rubber can get rotted out and fail. If you keep your bottles in indoors and you keep them clean, you might never ever have to replace these. I don't think I've ever had to replace any of the ones that I use and keep clean. But you can buy these replacement gaskets quite cheaply. So when you find old bottles that have been rotted out in the garage somewhere, you can easily scrape off or remove the rubber gasket and replace it with a new one. But they all work the same with this spring mechanism. They're the same design. I prefer these. They're heavier duty glass. They don't have the ornate design that I don't know if it's in the inside, if it's smooth, but I think there might be a little texture inside that could trap some some uh, additional uh, you know, dirt, yeast, etc. But uh, I just prefer a simple rock-solid bottle like these Easy Caps. These were taken from Virgil Root Beer. Virgil's Bavarian Gourmet Root Beer came in these, but they are commercially available as an Easy Cap bottle. It's the same company, I believe, that produces them. They are awesome. They're really solid. They do have a newer version that has a smaller opening. I think it's newer. I don't like that as much. I like the ones with the straight, thick, solid opening here. I've never broken any of these. They are wonderful. Anyway, but to sanitize them, you have to be careful. You put them in the dishwasher, this could swing below the rack and catch your armature, the spray arm, and, and wreck your dishwasher. Um, so I make sure I put them in some way where this is going to be retained above the rack or even sideways because again when you're sanitizing in the dishwasher you're not really worrying about you don't want any detergent and you never use detergent but you don't worry about having the water get in the bottle you're going for the temperature you put very clean bottles in the dishwasher to start with the sanitize cycle sanitizes by heat and steam so you can stack them in every which way you can in the dishwasher and load it jam-packed anyway but the other problem with easy cap bottles is occasionally the spring cap won't stay shut and you'll have it all somewhat pop open and now you got a bad beer. It's all flat, stale, but if this mechanism works, it is solid on there. The problem is when they get bent and distorted, this angle needs to be slightly past a vertical drop of 90. It has to be slightly past that so that it's pu so that the, the uh, upward tension is trying to pull it upward this way where it can't get off. If, if your ang angle gets less than 90 from the cap from the top of the bottle to this, it's going to repeatedly pull it this way. So what can you do? Well, what happens is this part here needs to be pinched in, and you can do that with some channel lock pliers. So if you have a bottle that, that's popping open like that, I just fixed all mine so I don't have one to show you in a real one, you grab it right here and squeeze a little bit there so that this radius gets tighter. As you can see, it's a larger radius than the bottle, so we have plenty of room to go. We squeeze that a little bit tighter. Now that's going to allow this loop section to swing in further and thereby allow this break angle here to go past 90 degrees and boom now it's even tighter than it was and then they'll never come off so don't ever throw these away all you need to do is take that and bend this curved section in further and you will have a tighter fit as tight as you want it and uh, so there squeeze a little bit and this baby is super, super snug now. Ta-da!